Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today I've brought you to a place that I find absolutely fascinating. It gives us some brain wrinkles but also takes us to a place that we haven't really explored. This is a swampy area in Arkansas, believe it or not. Today we are at the Louisiana Purchase State Park and we're about to take a boardwalk trail to a very interesting piece of history. Let's go. In 1682, 140 years after Hernando de Soto and his conquistadors searched for treasure west of the Mississippi River, French explorer La Salle claimed the land, resources, and the people of the country of Louisiana in the name of King Louis XIV of France. The lands along the Mississippi provided excellent habitat for wildlife, especially fur-bearing mammals. Frenchmen recognized the potential trade value and quickly set up friendly trade networks with the Indians along the Mississippi and its tributaries. Trading centers were then established to allow them to trade various forms of items and by 1721 8,000 people crowded this French colony and fierce rivalries developed between the French and the ever-growing number of English traders. In 1762, France ceded the territory to Spain and payment for the aid during the French and Indian War. Then, by July of 1800, Napoleon renegotiated with Spain for the return of Louisiana to the French. The treaty stipulated that France would not sell or otherwise dispose of the territory to any third party, leading Spain to believe this Louisiana territory was free from American control. Now clearly this is not how it ended up because we are standing in Arkansas which is in the United States and you can see that standing here we are not part of Spain, we are not part of France, we are part of the USA. So what happened next? Well, between 1801 and 1803, President Jefferson learned that Spain has ceded the Louisiana Territory back to France. And in early September, fearing Napoleon would close the Mississippi to American trade, the president sent an ambassador, Robert Livingston, to Paris to inform France that the United States would not tolerate the loss of the Mississippi River. In 1802, Napoleon readied to occupy New Orleans with military troops. As threat of French occupation grew, the president sent James Monroe to Paris with authority to purchase the Port of New Orleans and West Florida for $9,375,000. Monroe and Livingston were able to negotiate a peaceful settlement. Considering Napoleon's views on world conquest, there seemed little chance of settlement. Then on April 11, 1803, Napoleon announced he would sell the entire territory to the United States. By April 30, 1803, the treaty which binded the United States to the purchase became official and a $15 million contract was signed. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, but that's New Orleans and we're in Arkansas. What, is, what does that have to do with anything? Well, this is the actual Louisiana purchase. It was 830 thousand miles. So quite a bit of the United States was acquired through this land purchase. And even though realistically, if we go through history, there were already people occupying this area. The claiming of the land was what really mattered in those times. And so by the United States taking this over and assuming it as part of their country, it then kind of became more of what we know the United States to be today. Now there were other land purchases and other conquests that happened after this, but this one was one of the biggest and most pivotal. And so that's why it's important to come to places like this because we get to learn about those things. But as we walk around, there's a lot of interesting things to see here because, well, let's face it, we're in a swamp. So throughout this entire trail, you're on a boardwalk. The boardwalk is not super long. It's definitely ADA accessible. It's pretty interesting because it winds you through this beautiful swamp. You can hear birds, you can see the little blooms when we're here. 
and it, because the water levels are kind of higher, you can really get a perspective of the swampy conditions. Now there is a sign that talks a little bit about whenever they surveyed this. And on there, there's a historic photo that shows that it wasn't quite this wet. And even the last time I visited, it wasn't quite as wet as it is right now. With that said, there are a few interesting inhabitants of this area. There are some regular things like bunnies and possums. Then there's some undesirables like snakes and gators. And so I think it's kind of interesting to come out here and to visit. This isn't a place you can camp. This is a place you can explore though. And it's fascinating. And as you get to the end of the boardwalk, you'll have a nice seating area that you can sit in and you can see the actual markation point, which is a large stone that is in the water that shows you where the corner mark of the property that we acquired would have been. So it's pretty fascinating and I really enjoy this. And don't worry guys, there's this stuff on the railings that you can see, it's metal, it's thick. So that's supposed to stop the gators from coming up. It's rare that you see them, but typically whenever they are floating around out in the swamp, they're not trying to make their presence known to the humans. They're trying to like just enjoy themselves and hang out, but you need to look very carefully because they stick their little noses up and that's usually what you can see. But I think I'm just gonna soak in some of these views for a bit, take you all along with me. This is a small stop, but it's one that has a big historic brain wrinkle impact, so you'll definitely enjoy it. I just saw a snake. We are Audi 5000. We are going. It was black. It was like an orangey thing. I usually don't look at them that closely, but it was like less than a few feet away from me. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for us here at the Louisiana Purchase State Park. Um, I encountered a little bit of wildlife while I was here and it was terrifying. It was a snake, it was floating in the water and if you're interested in seeing what it looks like, go check out Riley's channel, but I don't stick around for those. In fact, I ran like as fast as I could with all the camera equipment that I was holding and got myself out of there. Yeah. So be prepared to kind of keep your head on a swivel if you come out or come out during the winter months whenever there's nothing kind of crawling around because it's just a little bit too cold. Yeah, I think that would be my best suggestion. But it was great coming here with you guys and sharing a little bit of history with you, getting some new brain wrinkles and seeing this magnificent state park. I definitely recommend coming out even with the little creepy crawlers because I've been here twice and the first time, guess what? There were no scary things. Remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. I have enjoyed coming along and I hope you have too. I'll see you next time. Bye.